So if you're having a problem with your 22 long rifle jamming, um, it's probably because of the ammo. So the easiest solution to that, if you come over here and look at this, you're probably using ammo like this. It's good stuff in some rifles, but not all. So this, of course, is a hollow point. And uh, it's hard to focus. Pull on another one. So the problem here is that when you put the hollow point in, you get this problem. Watch very closely. I'm gonna move it very slowly. Boom, there it goes, a jam. That's called failure to fire or FTF. All right, now, I'm gonna pull that one out, because that's a hazard. I'll do it one more time because there's a couple of hollow points in here. I guarantee you it's going to do the same thing. Very slowly watch what happens. Boom. Jam. It's stuck. So, same procedure. You don't want this happening. This can literally result in your death. Literally. And one last try. And normal speed, boom. Another freaking jam. You don't want that to happen. All right, so not all rifles are designed for all ammunition. Although that is good ammunition, sometimes you actually need the cheaper ammo. So this right here is actually much cheaper ammo. It's just regular old lead full metal jacket. There's not even a copper plating on it. But watch this put some of that in here. Round nose. All right, put the round nose ammo in and watch this. Almost like magic. Boom, it's chambered and ready to fire. Another successful one. It hung up a little bit, but even though it hung up, the round nose pushed the bullet through, allowing it to chamber. So sometimes the cheaper ammo is better.